Hi everyone, I'm going to uh, make an original page today in this uh, Canson Mixed Media Notebook and I'm going to start with uh, doing some acrylic uh, background. I've got here some dark green, blue and turquoise and I'm just going to take some brush with just a little bit of water so uh, it will be easier because these are heavy bodied uh, acrylics so I'm just going to go like this and I really don't care where everything goes I, and I'm dipping uh, my brush in, always in two colors because then it uh, it gives you more a uh, variation on the color and so as you can see just doing like this and I like for this I want the brush strokes to be seen I'm not trying to blend anything it gives me movement and interest in the background and I'm adding a little bit water to my brush because again I feel like uh, it's too dry and it doesn't move and that's it <laughs> trying to get coverage So, yeah, and so I've got the beginning of the background and I want to, I'm going to leave it be to dry. I want to stencil on it. So I'm uh, moving this aside and I had some crazy idea. I wanted to use some newspaper and do some weaving now i don't know how it will work it can be uh, just a, an ugly mess but we'll see so what i've done is i just took a well like this is a newspaper this is a a placement a paper placement and basically what i've done i've taken i've taken a whole a pages from a newspaper took a strip out of them I didn't measure I just eyeballed it and started to fold it and again this is you can do it uh, in any width that you like and it doesn't have to be a newspaper any kind of paper you want to use I wanted newspaper and I wanted sections that will have less color so uh, that's what I've taken if you want color you can even use a magazine um, IKEA a catalog whatever you want to use you can use so that's basically what I've done and as I said I eyeballed it and I have some that are uh, larger than the others and I'm just going to play with them and this is it and when you're finishing uh, folding it's better to take some uh, glue stick and put a little bit on the end just so it will be easier to handle once you put it on your page so I've got lots of uh, this folded uh, newspaper and also from this placement like here is one and what I, I want to do is try and start some weave but I, I'm thinking I need to do it a, on my page and not just a uh, 
wherever. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to take a few pieces and I want to color them. And I'm picking out the the list. Uh, I forgot the, <laughs> the name. I don't want the larger one, so I'm just picking, trying to pick. Let's see. I can put this and this. I think these are going to make my the base for the weave. I'm moving this aside. I haven't thought it uh, <laughs> uh, quite how I'm going to manage it. I'm just going with the flow. We'll see what happens. So I'm thinking I'm going to spray them. I want some green colors here. So let's just place them. This is the side that should be up. I'm because here is where I've glued my uh, pieces. So this is the upside, and I'm bringing some uh, sprays. These are. The sprays that I make from uh, gel food coloring and water, no recipe, few drops, water, and the more drops of gel food coloring, the, um, the darker the or intense the color will be, more water, less intense, so kind of a uh, random I'm spraying here. This one, yeah. So, and I think just to be on the safe side, I will take a few more and spray them also. Yeah, so this needs to dry completely and I'm moving this aside. Oops. They flipped. Never mind. So, back to my background and I want to stencil on it. So, let's see. I want some lighter color uh, on top and i still got a few places that are wet never mind this is a stencil for a cake it's the same uh, thing uh, as any stencils that we will use uh, for craft and it's just cheaper because it's from the uh, kitchen and baking uh, aisle from the cheap store but it works exactly the same. So here is my stencil and I'm thinking, let's see, thinking but not doing, I haven't prepared. Uh, here, I'm going to go with this color. I hope it will be nice because it's kind of grayish and I'm taking some sponge, a makeup sponge. It seems like I have a point here, some place here that the color is still wet, so it's um, blending with what I have on my uh, sponge, which is okay by me. <laughs> uh, 
I'm just adding interest to the background. Okay, this seems to work well. It's kind of grayish and a little bit, I thought it would be more uh, towards a uh, light blue, but now it seems like it's some purple gray. Never mind. It seems to work uh, right now, so we'll see. Yeah, okay. And do I want more of this? Maybe another one here. I know that most of this area is going to get covered, so I'm not really concerned Okay, so this is it, and I don't mind that I have some white here. Let's see, moving again. <laughs> Each time I need to move everything aside. Not enough space here. So I'm. what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for everything to dry and then i'll come back i'm back so here are the pieces that i want to start with and i'm thinking like i'm going to put a, a little bit of glue here now i want to try and make something asymmetrical so i'm going to play with it and as I said, nothing is measured and I'm only putting glue here and now here, as I said, don't want it to be symmetrical. So I want each piece to be placed a Uh, not uh, in line with the other one and not the same length we'll see what comes out of it as I said this is this can be a really mess one big mess let's see Next, another one like here. Maybe I'll trim it. Something like that. So this is the beginning and now I want uh, some stems. I'm going to make some flowers. So these are going to be the stems 
and here is where I'm starting basically making the weave and I'm thinking I need to put glue here right now before it or maybe no I'll I'll wait with the glue because I want to play with the placement of this let's see I'm still I still can move these pieces because the glue is not uh, completely dry so let's see another one and So I need to be careful because everything is still moving and let's see I had another one from the placement that I can't see right now and I want to keep it where did it go sometimes I'm a, a magician I can evaporate and disappear things okay oh here it is let's see so again doing it very gently <laughs> Okay, and now I think I want, I have leftovers from the trimming of these pieces, maybe I'll add it like so. Let's see, as I said, not planned, I'm uh, basically playing with the pieces and I need to trim these pieces also and I will need to uh, also uh, glue everything down let's see like this and and let's put just maybe no okay so this is basically what is going to be here i'm going to glue the everything down uh, before i uh, we continue i'll be back i'm back so everything is in place I'm going to move this aside because I want to make the flowers for a uh, here. Now I made a video about I'm going to well I'm going to make the flowers from uh, this, and I made a video how I'm making uh, this crumpled textured uh, paper from 12 by 12. I will put a link below in the description box. Basically, what I'm doing is. I'm always taking one of those uh, plain or ugly <laughs> 12 by 12s and doing something I, uh, on them. Now, if I want to keep this pattern, then I will work on this side, like here. This is the same uh, paper. If I don't want to keep it, I will just use the blank side. So uh, what you're supposed to do is just spray it with water spread it, let it uh, soak in, flip it over, do the same thing. And now crumple it. And this is, and it's better to wait a few seconds for the water to soak in. And it always depends on the quality of the paper. So, 
I, I, I can't explain uh, which paper is better but because each company has different kinds of paper so basically this is it and once I have this I'm just spraying it and just for example and waiting for it to dry very quickly I'm doing this it really doesn't matter and leaving it be and I can also uh, spray more water to let it spread depends what you want moving it aside this of course needs to be completely dry and I've got uh, this one from uh, a while ago that I've made them and I'm going to punch uh, some flowers out of this one I've got this punch and let's see I'm gonna try uh, to punch in areas that I have more purple I'm not quite keen on all this uh, pink so let's see and it's going to be a little bit difficult because the paper is not uh, flattened out so here we go this is also a great way to make all kinds of um, uh, flower embellishments and it got stuck yeah so I want a list I think I want at least two for each uh, flower I want to put them uh, one on top of each other if I can uh, do three I'll do three I'm just going to continue punching this uh, paper and maybe just so we'll have interest maybe I'll add from this one let's see definitely more interesting here a really nice flower so I'm going to punch away and I'll be back I'm back here are my flowers they turned up better than what I thought I'm really liking them the I don't know all these colors that are going on here and the fact that they are not completely flat I just love it and I've raided my button stash and found these lovely buttons so now I'm just going to attach uh, my flowers to the page like so here we go it's still all wet and moving <laughs> so I'm trying to be very careful go and I just want some words here that I've already picked up together forever and I think it goes with all this color here and the stripes I have here in the weave so that turned out good for me so this is it that's my page I hope you liked it. I hope you'll do something. <laughs> Try your hand at uh, weaving newspaper or whatever paper you want to use. And this is it. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.